Hey, g'day guys, it's Adam from Video Show Me How. And in this video, we're going to run through how you can talk to your computer of your car. And you can do that by reading all the information that's going through the car's ECU. We're talking temperatures, we're talking trans temps, water temps, we're talking fuel economy, even things like injector pressure, the lot. So you can do that really simply using stuff that already comes with a car and a couple of little modules like this and some software and it will output to your phone. It's pretty cool and you can do lots with it. So without further ado, let's get started. Now to be able to do this, you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need the vehicle, the one you wanna read all the data for or clear the codes or what have you. We're gonna use our 21 Max from the build that you've seen. You then you need something to read all the information. Now the phone is the easiest thing by far because you can just download the app and use it that way. You can use tablets and what have you as well. And then you're gonna need an OBD2 sensor. And this is the little reader that you can use. I'm using one from OBD2 Australia. I'll, I'll make sure I link in the video description down below a bunch of different options of ones that I've used successfully in the past. A little bit of buyer beware with some of these. Some of these are pretty ordinary that come from a land far away and some of them have sort of old chips and what have you in it with an older protocol you're looking for an eml 327 version 1.5 and above but i'll make it nice and easy i'll just link down in the video description below which ones you should check out so once you've got your trifecta you've got your reader you've got your phone and you've got your vehicle from here it's a matter of locating your obd port now in the case of the isuzu d max it is literally under the driver's seat Hopefully I can get in here so you can see that. And it's this guy that sits in here right there. If you're not in a D-Max and you're in something that is a little bit different, guaranteed it is going to be under the driver wheel somewhere in the driver's footwell. It'll be up under the dash or somewhere in there, normally on the left or sometimes with some fuses over here on the right. But guaranteed it's in there. Once you've located it, it's just a matter of plugging this guy in. You can see by the shape, it can only go in one way. The vehicle doesn't need to be on to do this bit, but you can see... You just line it up and then when you plug it in that's one of the good things i like about this is you've got some lights we flash green to go yep i'm i'm receiving i'm plugged in and i'm powered up so from here it's a matter of starting to set up our software right so once you've got your phone all ready to go and you've got your module plugged in from here start your vehicle one because it's a thousand degrees outside for me and the other reason is we want to start the phone talking to our sensor now with the car started it's going to be reading data already and pinging itself for a signal. So from here, you wanna connect your phone to the reader. Now, they're almost always via Bluetooth. So depending on what type of phone that you have, it's as simple as going in and connecting to your Bluetooth that you would any other way or any other device. So we wanna pair our new device. Now for us, we've already got our OBD OZ connected. So once you're connected, you then need to get some reader apps. Now there's a couple of different ones that I use. Forever and a day, I used the Talk Pro app. Now that's this guy here. Worked really, really well and very, very simple. It was a nice application that you could do a whole bunch of things. You could run tests, you could do all sorts of stuff. From here, it's a matter you had to go and set up your adapter. Like you can see here, it's already picked it up. Once you're connected, you can do a couple of things. So you can clear fault codes. So this is where if you get any lights on your dash, that uh, little engine lights or something like that, you can go in here and you can read what they are. So you don't even need to take it into the dealer. You can go in here, you run this. Now I haven't got any code, so I can't show you on there, but basically you'd run that. It would go through a diagnostic and then come up on the screen exactly what the fault code is and give you a whole bunch of information on it. So it could be something simple. You might be able to get out of jail free and be able to then you know, get the car home, that kind of thing by clearing the code. So that's really, really cool. The other thing you can do is go into live information. Now I've got this already set up. You can custom Customize exactly what you want where by just holding down on the screen there changing your displays changing the type but this is what my custom setup looks like I've set it up so I've got air intake temperature we've got our air intake through our inner cooler overall coolant temperature our EGTs front and rear there as well our volts our boost here as well you can see I'll give the car a bit of a rev there you get some live data out of that our overall speed via GPS and then we've got our overall rev so you can see there that's pretty cool now the thing that torque doesn't have is your transmission temps so that's been really important particularly for driving and towing and that kind of thing these guys and understanding temperatures especially when you're driving in soft sand or towing a large load is really important so from there thankfully there's another app called car scanner that does show it so we'll just back out of here and go into our other app this one's called car scanner so you can go into your play store 
or your app store and download these apps, I'll make sure I link in the video description down below exactly which ones these are. Car Scanner is the other one. It's very similar, but it's got a few extra features, mainly being the auto transmission temp, which is pretty cool. Now you can see here, it's automatically trying to connect to our sensor down below. It's already successfully connected and I've got it set up so it will go straight into our live dashboard. And this is the factory dashboard that it comes with. I've customized another one that looks a little bit like this with all the things I want. Before we get stuck into that though, let's just back out of that and go back to the main menu. So as you can see, we've got our dashboards. They're the live dashboards that you can set up yourself and choose what you want to see. We've got live data reads in here as well. So if we load this up, Let's just go separate in there and you can see even crazy graphs like this that will give you exactly what sort of readings and, and sort of live data that's been spat out from your ECU. We've got our codes here on the left. This is where you could run a diagnostic, read everything and clear codes if you need to. You can see all the different systems of this particular car that it can read and clear. So that's pretty cool. In here is all of your sensors. So you can see that down the side here, this is all the live data that's been pulled out of the ECU. It's going to reading everything that we've got here, even ambient air temperatures and all sorts of stuff, which is, which is overall really, really cool. If you're really nerdy like me, you can get in there and see all of that. It's pretty cool to see. As far as setting up your OBD reader itself, it's just a matter of going in to your adapter setting here. Now you can see we've already got it connected. We're connecting just straight by Bluetooth. For the first time you'd set it up, you can just go in and choose which is your device. Once you've connected it via Bluetooth to your phone, it'll appear there. You just select it and that, it's as easy as that. From here, let's have a look at the dashboard. You can see that this is sort of the standard one. We've got litres per hour, how many litres per hundred, fuel, speed, average speed, engine RPM, fuel used. I've, I've kind of had a bit of a modify this for an upcoming uh, fuel consumption video but this is the main one that I run and you can see we have transmission temperatures. So that's really, really cool. The one you wanna use is the TCM ATF1. That's the, uh, the best one to use. We've got our volts there as well, air intake temperature, coolant temperature, engine RPM there on the side and our EGTs as well as our boost there on the bottom corner. So I normally don't run this all the time. I just normally run this when I'm on the beach, for example, or I'm towing. And that way I can, that's why I really like this, this arm setup. Check out that video. I'll link up the top and down below if you haven't seen it already. But that's why I like that because you can sort of see what's really going on. And you can see when you're doing a, an EGT burn, for example, you can see this temperature down the bottom here will spike up to that 650 degrees is where it sort of peaks at um, before it drops right back down. So you can see when burns are happening, you can check out your coolant temp if you're going up big hills or on the beach. And overall, it kind of just gives you an idea of when you sort of need to start taking it easy on the old girl. If you're, if you're really giving it a hard time, you can actually get that live data on exactly what's going on. Now I know in some vehicles, you can actually get it on your big screen. Now, this is the Alpine Halo. I haven't worked that out as yet. That would be absolutely amazing if you could get it to integrate in with your Android Auto. I haven't worked that one out yet. If you know how to do that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm definitely keen to see if we can somehow hack that to get those guys on a screen like this, or certainly the factory one. That would be pretty cool. But in any case, guys, that is a quick video on how you can set up live temperatures, live data from your vehicle. Now, if you've got any questions or anything like that with this one, guys, more than happy to help out and answer what I can. Just pop it in a comment down below. And I'll also make sure I leave some links to the various videos that we've talked about in this one, and also where you can pick up one of those OBD sensors, as well as the two apps that I use. As always, a massive thank you to the patrons of Video Show Me How. Very much appreciate your extra support, guys. Thank you very much. But that's it for this one, guys. So as always, I hope that you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.